Yeah. Rowan. Hello. And a very good evening it is to my friends in uh, North America. All over the place. And yeah. Yes, that's correct. So uh, good evening, gentlemen, and uh, thank you, thank you for inviting me to your conversation. Yeah. And, thanks uh, for joining us. Jim had to go take a piss, so he'll be back in a minute. He'll be excited that you're on, though. Hi, Rowan. This is Alan Levine. Alan, uh, good evening to you. I believe this is the first time I've spoken to you, so it's very it is. very exciting for me. Tim, also, yeah. uh, first time, so very exciting for me. And Jim, um, glad to speak in real time once again. I heard you mention... Um, the first the first time we had a conversation that was with um, uh, Brian Lamb in Vancouver, and I think that was unofficially that that time was unofficially called uh, uh, "Nobody's Listening," and I, <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time when I you heard me wandering around my house while I was talking to you, and that I think that was the reason how you coined the phrase "Nobody's Listening" because I was always listening. I just had to take care of something. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm always listening. I'm always here, and um, yeah, thank you. How, Back to you. How, how did you how, how how did you come across DS106, Rowan? How did you hear about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you walk away. So where's Rowan Peter? He's, He's right there call? next to you, man. He's here. <laughs> He is here. Oh, I don't see him. We were just chatting. Uh, he's got audio. I don't know if he's got video. Hey, Rowan. Doesn't look like it. Yep. How you doing? <laughs> Jim? Yes? Yeah. Tim oh, Doom. It's... Dude, <laughs> Rowan, I love you, but I know you're not listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not listening I know, I asked... to a word I'm saying. I asked him a question. He didn't respond. <laughs> He's the best. Do, do I need... I, I've got many voices layering up. Do I need to put my headphones on? Uh, if you've got the radio going, you may need to mute it, or the TV station or whatever you've got going. You probably need to just mute that. Hey, just hang iTunes out is going to go off. Here we there go. There you go. Yeah. That would be it. Here we go. Sorry, man. Sorry about that. Not a problem. That's Who's okay. We love you, answer? Rowan. Dude, uh, how is everything going with you? Uh, very busy. My boy is now seven uh, seven weeks old. Alex, he's going okay, and uh, he's being a baby, and he's awesome. So um, I haven't been able to do as much as I'd wanted to, but uh, I'm very happy to um, have him here, and he's safe and well. So thank you for asking him. My wife, um, my missus, as uh, sometimes the, the good lady wife is referred to here, she's going white, uh, very well as, uh, also. So, yeah. We're all happy. Yeah. Thank you. You've been you've been so, awesome. And to think that you've had a baby during all this is amazing. <laughs> it's the first DS one oh six baby. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I'm not sure if it was I'm not sure if it was Tim or Timmy or or Rob Rob Nyland who coined the phrase dad core and dad I loved core. it. And dad I, core. I was, <laughs> and I was, it was I, I'm sorry it was, I think it was you, maybe it was Rob, but I, I saw I think the... It was Rob it was, it was, I think it was Rob in a comment on one of my posts. He said, that's it, cool. that's it. Yeah. And I'm yeah. totally trying to work him, uh, my boy Alex, into some um, some projects. At, uh, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, congratulations. Alan? Yeah. Yep. Excellent. First time to speak to you. Um, how's your travels going? I've been... I, I would uh, the 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 day you had the uh, you spoke on the radio about your blog post about how you're leaving your current job. Now, since I listened to that and I checked in and um, that was good, but now I'm not sure where you are now. Are you at home or have you started your journey? Uh, I'm still at home in Arizona. Uh, I'm going to start in June uh, with some with mm. my travel, and uh, I should be in Vancouver uh, on that part probably by July, and then. Going all the way across Canada, I hope. Excellent, excellent. Because I, I haven't been to Canada, and as Canada being, you know, one of the common, our Commonwealth brother, I have. A, I think it's part of my duty to actually go to Canada. 
and um, just share some, you know. I, I agree with, with you. <laughs> so many people from Canada come to Arizona. It's like it's like a, a I say it's the Southern Canadian province. <laughs> well, they all come down here I, in the winter. Rowan, <laughs> let me yep. point out something. Uh oh. Alan's spending much of his trip in Canada, which is yeah. very un American. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're like so American in Canada, Jim. They're they're like no, they're not. I love the Canadians. I truly believe in what they're doing. They're my community in many real ways, but they're not American. They're much nicer than you Brooklyn people. That's true. I w I would agree with that. They're not American. Damn hey, uh, Ro yeah. Rowan, where in, where in Australia are you? I I'm, I live in Melbourne, Melbourne, Excellent. Victoria, which is. Down the down the yep. bottom. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the geography. You may or may not be, but yeah, down the bottom, but not in Tasmania. So yeah, I've been I've been uh, there twice to Melbourne. Oh, when when did you come over? Uh, I was last there in uh, 2000. Wait, I was there in 2009, and uh, I was there in 2007, and another hmm. 2000. I can't remember. 2001, maybe. Oh, you're a local then. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I uh, I love I love Australia. I love Australia more than Canada, actually. Wow, <laughs> but I, I, that's very 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 kind man. Now, men, I think we're everyone here is American, so hopefully you can field my call. It's a it's an American question, and particularly sure. uh, about um, Virginia. Now, I was hey, curious you. what. So, Jim, I think this covers off you and also Tim. Is that correct? That's correct. That's right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's about... <laughs> it's, <I> think... <laughs> Love it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Hit us. Okay. Well, Hit me it's, with your it's rhythm about... stick. <laughs> it's, about the, it's about the Virginia accent. Now, it's quite... What made me curious or was curious for my ear was um, I was listening to... DS 106 radio, of course, and the, and the somebody or he, uh, Mike Watt always gets airtime, and then I was listening to his accent, and then I heard Jim's, and then I did I, I searched about uh, did a Wikipedia search on, of course, everyone's favorite Mike Watt, and it said originally he was from Virginia, now and I thought, uh -huh. but it said that he left when he was young, when he's relatively young, but he still had an accent which sounded like Jim's. Now, is that true? I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, is, is that accent, is it from a particular province or, or section of Virginia? Because I looked on the stub about Virginia. It said all these different types. Now, is that true? Because there's something about with the A's, that the, the, the sound of the A. Jim, Tim, can you um, help me out with that, please? Okay. Let me go first, Tim. Mm -hmm. I am originally from Long Island. So my accent Long Island, is, Long Island. Is, Long is, Island. <laughs> is very much a New York accent. Ah. Mike Watt is actually probably a California accent because he was a baby when he left Portsmouth, Virginia to go to um, where he lives now, which is San Pedro. So we have mm -hmm. very different accents, but I did live in California for seven years. So when I first had my accent, it was half New York and for many, half California. And people actually ironically thought I was from Australia. <laughs> that's because, because the, that's, what, that's what catches my ear because the, the, there's recently or there's a bunch of movies set in Boston and, and yep. they do something with the A's. Um, I'm not sure what suburb or part of that. But that it's, and then the non roticity of the, the A sound sounds like an Australian A, and I go, "What? They sound like us?" And I read about it, and that was quite interesting for me. So when I hear an A, the that it's all, I'm always um interested. Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, right. It's, it's, and then yeah. New York, and Long then Island from, uh, is Ohio. very different things with their so. A. They have a uh, like when we say water, the A yeah, becomes yeah. very like water. And then yeah. uh, daughter, and yeah, it yeah, becomes yeah. A very strong. 
Water. 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 My daughter I needs some water. 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 <laughs> go fuck yourself. So go fuck yourself. Exactly. But yeah, we have a very distinctive Just accent, I've heard. which is quite different from even the West Coast. Boston has mm. even a harder accent. It's the A yeah. is really pronounced the Yad. And, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, no accent is cooler than the Australian accent, right? I mean, this is true. That's ultimately that, what we true, we yeah. aspire to. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's exactly true, but um, that's what's part of the fun is um, with the radio as well. Hearing the um the part the people who are uh, participating in this sort of in the in the course, they get on the mic, and that's always interesting for me because I thought, oh, so that's what those people sound like from there, or that's what they might sound like from there, and I don't know it's all just part of about finding out or uh, about people around the world and stuff. It's great. It's that's a real uh, personal way to connect with people, and uh, it's really interesting for me personally. So but, yeah. Let tough, me though. ask you this: What would be the yep. difference between like a Melbourne accent and a Sydney accent? Oh well, you might say more things like "Yes, sweetie," and "Oh yes," and things like that. So you'd probably put more affectation that you were from England or particularly from London as well, because you're more, um, you know, inner city and more cool. <laughs> so more cool. If you can imagine a half Proper. English, like an Australian accent, but knowingly not being Australian and more English, but like I don't know if you know. Uh, like Kylie Minogue, you know, she speaks with that kind of strange sort of English accent, but still Australian a little bit. <laughs> I like that. So affect. The Sydney folks are affected. Yeah, absolutely. And it's intentional affectation, of course, because you don't want to have an Australian accent because it's a little bit, you know, dodgy or something like that. <laughs> totally. I love that. <laughs> And then, so what do you make a what I do you make a accent, Timmy boy I? and Alan's accent? Do I even have one? Uh, I, I'm not, I don't have an I, accent. I, guess, I know uh, that's right. I mean, not because it's because it's so. I can't. It's not distinctive, as it doesn't stand out for me. Not because you're generic or boring, Alan. It's just that I don't know it enough to know it's different from anything else. Where there's something about gyms or that style, which I go. What's that? That is something, or not? Not you. <laughs> that personally. is something. I want everyone from that area, from that talks like that. That's what I thought. I go, wow, yeah. that's quite. <laughs> Especially when Jim's like some... yelling at his students, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't yell at them. I just guide them, <laughs> yeah. guide them emphatically. <laughs> yeah. Build them yeah. up to be a better <laughs> people. Get away from in, the in water. A... That's a, a way. You have to tear them down. You should have heard my mother talk. My mother had the thickest New York accent you've ever heard. I mean, it was crazy. You wouldn't probably even be able to understand her. Oh, the that, thickest. I mean, it was crazy. It was like she would say words like the A would go places that it's never been before. It's like, I'll tell you, like film would become film. And Earl would oil would become Earl. It's almost like she was Irish. I mean, it was weird. I mean, but that, very very uh, thick accent. But maybe that's old style because my grandmother used to say like film and balloon and all that kind of stuff as well. But oh, and and she's from yeah. Melbourne, Australia, so maybe <laughs> that's just how they spoke in you know that period. Yeah, it might be. But I I found like she was impregnable linguistically. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't <laughs> even understand that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe some people, uh, maybe if other Americans are talking to other Americans, it's not as exciting. But when I talk to people and they not that they, they sound like they're not from around these parts, I'm always a bit more curious because it's, uh, it's, it's a little uh, amusing, not in a bad way, but it's, it's fun to, to, to hear a different lilt. Yeah, so I'm, I'm enthusiastic about that. <laughs> so what am I, a clown? Am I here to amuse you? <laughs> you didn't know, Jim? <laughs> I yeah. said it's why, not fun. Why do you think this course is so popular? <laughs> uh, I said it's... <laughs> 
Jim, you're a cult. Yeah. 